Today we have a look at the chocolate that's full of Eastern promise. Here on Walking the Candy Aisle, welcome everyone. My name is Jeff, and yes, today we are looking at another excellent, interesting, strange and wonderful piece of UK candy and chocolate. This is Fry's Turkish Delight. Yes, it's Turkish Delight in a chocolate bar. What? Has the world gone crazy? No, this is, uh, this is popular. This is, this is certainly popular in uh, lots of parts of the world. Um, Fry's Turkish Delight. This is a Cadbury product made in the UK. Uh, it is also sold in other parts of the world, Australia, New Zealand, um, and uh, over in somewhere in India, maybe? I don't know. Uh, but Fry's Turkish Delight, full of Eastern promise, is their slogan, or at least was their slogan for many a year. And I just was over on YouTube checking out the... Um, the ads for this. I can actually put a link for the ad right here. It is hilarious. You got to watch the ads for this thing. They are very, very funny. Um, Turkish Delight in a chocolate bar. What is the world coming to? They, um, I mean, this has been around for a while, at least since the 60s. Uh, in Canada, where I live, we do have a chocolate bar made by Nestle Canada called Big Turk, which I have reviewed, and I will put a link to on the screen right there um, and at the end of this video. But uh, yeah, I'm not generally a huge fan of it. I think it's weird. I think it's strange. And I'm not sure if I agree with it philosophically. But whatever. You know, <laughs> to each his own, I suppose. Fries. This is a Cadbury product, as I said. But um, it's listed as fries because, well, uh, it was originally made in uh, made by a company called Fries, I think. And... Um, and now Cadbury, when they when they picked it up, they uh, they just kept the, they kept the name, which I think is nice. I think that's a nice nod to the to the people that originally had the company and had produced this. Let's see what it says here. It says Turkish delight wrapped in milk chocolate on the top, and on the bottom it says no artificial colors and same great taste. I think they I think it was 2010 they uh, changed it from artificial colors to um, to non artificial colors to or, or sorry to what to um, real colors real colors they're all real colors I don't know anyway let's get into this and have a look at it oh, Turkish delight Turkish delight you know at the best of times maybe I had just haven't had real Turkish delight but at the best of times I'm gonna say I probably am not a crazy huge fan of Turkish delight there's the bar sort of it's a rose Turkish delight so I believe that Turkish delight comes in different flavors little bit of shedding, but that's okay. This traveled from the UK all the way to Canada, so, you know, we can't be too uh, too harsh on it. It's a pretty good-sized little bar there. Let me, uh, smells good, you know, and it's Cadbury, so it's probably good quality chocolate. Let's see if this, compare how this compares to the, uh, to the Nestle uh, Big Turk bar, which uh, I thought was okay and interesting, but certainly not for me. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Do people really eat this? <laughs> this is just weird, right? This is weird. This Turkish Delight is really like... Like, almost like a gelatin. It's so... It's so thin. It's like a... It's really jelly. got a jelly quality where you can just bite right through it, just slices like butter. Um, whereas I would say that Big Turk one, which is really my only point of reference to compare this, um, my big, that Big Turk chocolate bar was um, a lot harder and a lot chewier. This is like, bite it, slice right through it, and not quite dissolve in your mouth, but um, very uh, sort of loose consistency to everything here. The chocolate's good. Chocolate's just good quality standard, you know, Cadbury or fries, whatever chocolate. I don't know if it's manufactured differently, but it's pretty good chocolate. It's fine. Um, this Turkish delight, though, is just a little odd. Let me have one more bite here and give it a, give it another shot. One sec. Hmm. Yep. And there's like the flavoring. And I guess this is the flavoring of Turkish Delight itself. 
it has like it does have like almost a rosy sort of flavor to it, but it's really spiced. It's got a little it's got a spice to it. That's interesting. It's nice, but it's not it's nice. It's nice in the sense that like I can tell how some people would like it, but it's just not really to my taste. Um I think maybe someone somewhere should tell me where good Turkish delight can be found. Does it exist in chocolate bar form or do you have to go to I don't know, somewhere in the Middle East to find real Turkish delight that's um that's high quality that I would like. Can I find it readily available, you know, commercially manufactured? Let me know in the comments below. For now, I'm going to have to pass on this. This is not something for me. If you're from UK, tell me if you like this. Tell me why you like this. Because uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing any real reason why I would ever get Fry's Turkish Delight again. But I'm sure for some tastes, it's all right. Um, Walking the Candy Isle is going to rate Fry's Turkish Delight a 2 out of 5. Yeah, that's all for me. No, that's, that's just it. Um, if you like this video, though, why don't you stick around, subscribe, like the video, and um, we've got lots more UK candy coming up in the next couple of weeks. Also, click the links that you see on the screen right here for more reviews. And thanks, everyone, for joining me here on Walking the Candy Isle. See you later.